So as we continue our journey with Acronis and the importance of backups and how to create backups and how to restore them, which I've done those videos, now I wanna show you how to recover just single files. Sometimes you might only delete one or two files or a video or something like that that's not recoverable from the recycle bin or you empty the recycle bin by accident and you meant to recover it. Whatever the circumstances are, Acronis will allow you to recover single file items or multiple file items without even shutting the computer down or rebooting the computer. So as long as you have Acronis installed on your desktop, there is a way to recover them. I'm gonna show you how to do it. We're gonna demonstrate that, so stick around. So we're gonna use my Dark Dragon here. I do have Acronis on it. I'm allowed up to, I think, five different computers with the current package that I'm paying for through Acronis. So, I have it on my main computer, of course. I have it upstairs and I have it on this. So a total of three right now. But let's get going over to the computer here. I'm gonna show you what we got and delete something and recover it. I'll show you exactly how it's done. Okay, so we have right here, it's called My Taxes. I just created this folder for this demonstration. Within here, we have this. How, <laughs> this is how to recover this file. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to delete this file right out of existence and that's gone however you could recover it still in the recycle bin see it's right here so you could actually uh, double click on it or restore all items or restore a single item so we do a restore right and it goes right back to here now it's in here again okay so we're going to delete it out of here we are going to also empty the recycle bin and now if we open the recycle bin, there's nothing in there. We can't restore anything. And if we go in here, oh no, I just did something I wasn't supposed to do. IT, please help me. Please help me. Okay, well, first off, I hope you had a backup because if you didn't, after you created that file or edited that file, those changes or that file are gonna be gone forever. So as long as you did your backup after you did that, we can take our backup here. Now, this is just an example. There's many different options of what you could put, put backups on, you know. So don't be too fixated on how or where I'm putting the backup. But let's say we have the backup, right? And you do have a Cronus installed on your computer. Plug in your backup that you did, which by the way, I did show you how to do in previous videos. So go ahead and check that out if you don't know how to do your first backup. All right, so right here we can see on this is the Dark Dragon. It's a offline backup is what I call it. Now you can't, it, we're not gonna just click on this and recover the files. That's not how it works. We are going to open up a Cronus True Image. Now, if you don't have a Cronus True Image on your computer, but you do have it on a media, rescue media, thumb drive, you can also recover it this way. It just takes a little longer. And if you watched a previous video or one of the previous videos, I show you step-by-step step on how to make that recoverable media or boot drive. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to come up here and see this is the offline backup. And I do have an online one that's just hooked up to a Synology, but this one is the offline backup that we just connected. We're gonna come up here. See, we got backup, replica, activity or recover. Click on recover. And now we wanna recover files. We know exactly where we deleted the file. So now within here, what we're going to look for is we need to find it on the desktop because that folder right over here is on the desktop. So it is going to be under users. So don't click, don't check this box. Double click on users then you're gonna double click on whatever your PC name is. So if you came down here, you did a right click, come up to system, and we have Dark Dragon. That's the name of this PC. Click on Dark Dragon. Now we come down to where it says desktop. Again, don't check any of these boxes because we're just looking for one specific file right at this point. So look at this. We have right here within there, we do have the whole entire folder, but we don't want the whole entire folder. We could have more in there that's still in there. We just wanna double click on that and look at this. This is how to recover. 
So if we drag this over, that's the exact file that I just deleted and I could not get back without doing this. So we're gonna check that. We're gonna click down here on next, recover now. And oof, what was that, two seconds or less? Now, we're not even gonna reboot the PC. Let's check this folder. Ho, 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 it is back. And guess what, if we open it up, it's just a notepad. That's all I wrote in it, that's it. The file is recovered, it's restored. Let's do one more demonstration, shall we? Let's take this entire folder and actually delete it. Now you can find the place of it right there. I don't know if it's gonna recover it back to the same exact spot, but now let's go and empty the recycle bin. Empty it. We are going to come up here to recovery again. We are going to click on files. Remember, users. Dark Dragon, or whatever your PC name is, desktop, and we lost the whole entire folder. This is what we need to check right there, and then recover. And it did put it in a different spot, which is right here. It did not put it back in the same exact spot, but that's okay, as long as we got it back. <laughs> it's easy as that. If you had videos or any kind of multiple files, you can do that continuously if you have your backup. So back up, back up, back up, back up, back it up, baby, back it up. That's gonna do it for me. I hope you learned something. Very easy. Back your crap up. Do it. That's gonna do it for me. Hit that thumbs up just to show love and support and also consider subscribing. Hit that bell icon to get notified for any future videos that I do post out and comment down below um, if you're doing your backups. Are you not doing your backups? Got any questions? Comment down below. And mm, that's it. Until next time, take care.